people don't even know that I am naturally not a good person. I am naturally not a good person, and I am naturally not a nice person. I was born in South Central L.A. Watts. Journey with me into the toxic hot mess Pandora, which is Tyrese. I'm going to do a deep dive on my YouTube live channel, but I needed to do this here in snippets so that you can see and understand how these men, if you give them enough time to talk, oh, they'll expose themselves. Every f level of evil, malicious, dark intentions, that's the environment that I grew up in grew up in and around monsters so every single day i have been a work in progress i am not naturally a nice person now i need you to keep that in mind for this next part what do you think tyrese is like behind the scenes as as a person as a husband as a mate even as a friend Loyalty has an expiration date. And because you disconnect or disassociate yourself with someone, you don't have to wait on something bad to happen before you cut them off. You can just say, I don't really like the way I feel when I'm around you. I don't like the way I feel when I talk to you. So you just got to make a choice to say, mm, I'm cool. And back out. You don't have to wait, wait on a breakup to break up. We've been rolling for 5, 10, 20 years. But it's something about where I'm at in my life, in this season of my life, that ain't connecting to you anymore. So you don't have to wait on a fight, an argument, a big blow up. Just make the decision. So did you hear what I heard? First, he starts out by saying he is not a nice person naturally. He has to try very hard. So though it's embedded in him. Then he also says that mm, if you want to leave a relationship, you can leave the relationship. That's for you. But what did he have to say about his ex-wife? Let's take a gander. It's my truth. I was with a woman named Samantha for five years. We got married. We had a one-year-old beautiful child named Soraya, and she just left me out the blue. Stay tuned for part two because I'm going to play that whole video. Every abuser I have ever known has painted himself as the victim. What's the difference between the first part of the video and the second? People don't even know that I am naturally not a good person. You don't have to wait, wait on a breakup to break up. We've been rolling for 5, 10, 20 years. But it's something about where I'm at in my life, in this season of my life, that ain't connecting to you anymore. If you haven't seen part one, go back and see part one because I show the clips of him talking about the programming that turned him into a bad person. Because what you see, what these men will do is they will go from relationship to relationship, especially targeting younger women who don't know any better. And these men won't work on their internal issues. And then when all is said and done, they'll get up in the faces of other women and pretend to be the victim. Meanwhile, they're wreaking havoc behind the scenes. I want you to pay attention to what it is that he's saying about his ex-wife. I was with a woman named Samantha for five years. We got married. We had a one-year-old beautiful child named Soraya. And she just left me out the blue and never came back. And I never cheated, no physical domestic violence, no side chick, um, no infidelity, nothing. No going through my phone and seeing something was going on, nothing. As a matter of fact, it ain't funny, but the running joke is the only other woman I kissed in five years was Naomi Harris' forehead in the movie Black and Blue. You didn't even get no lips out of it, you know? <laughs> so you don't think she ever loved you? I don't think she ever loved me. Because if she did, it wouldn't be that easy to leave. 
All right, let's dive into it. First, he starts out by detailing the problematic programming that he grew up in. He never talks about going through the motions and the therapy to get the help that he needs and the changes that he made. He talks about infidelity or beating. There are other ways to abuse someone other than putting your hands on them. And then also there are rumors out there that... Mm. So nonetheless, so little do they regard your womb that you can join your family tree with theirs, that you can go through the medical condition of being pregnant and give birth to his child, live with him, marry him, stay with him, and he will still come out and try to paint the picture as if you never loved him. On the one hand, he tells you that if a relationship is not working for whatever reason, you can shift out of it. But when it comes to his woman, oh no, she can't. Otherwise, it was never love. See, this is the problem. Stay tuned for part three because we need more time to discuss this. People don't even know that I am naturally not a good person. So you don't think she ever loved you? I don't think she ever loved me. Because if she did, it wouldn't be that easy to leave. Please go watch part one and two of this video because now Tyrese is with this 28-year-old young woman who he's been with since the age of 25 or earlier. Meanwhile, he got with his ex-wife, Samantha, when she was about 21 years old. He's 44. I just want you to see the pattern. Just like Irv Gotti here, 53, dating women who are, in, or are 26, wondering why he can't find true love. Meanwhile, I learned some things about him, and I'm going to have to follow up on that. Because it turns out Irv Gotti has behaved as a terrible, terrible person. And with no healing or self-reflection, <laughs> Tyrese has now jumped into this relationship with this girl who's 28 now, occupying over three years of her life now at this point. No internal work, no therapy, no healing, but still out here with his black ass on the internet trying to give women advice. And women are listening now. He's sitting up there talking about when it's you, oh, when it's time for you to leave, he's empowering you. But the women that are with him are disempowered because if they dare figure out that this relationship is not the one for them, what does he do? He goes onto the internet on some smear campaign. Remember when Zelly left uh, Tyrese a few months ago? He then went all across the internet talking about how she was some some sex-crazed, manipulative demon who was sucking the life out of him and all of this other stuff. Now they're back together, and instead of paying his child support, he's buying her $135,000 cars. But that's another story. I just want you to pay attention to the pattern of these men with their Peter Pan syndrome, never wanting to grow up, never taking the time to self-reflect before they get on microphones to then try to lead you. They call themselves leaders, but they aren't fortifying the base from which they are leading from and constantly shifting and averting blame and responsibility or accountability onto other people. He's talking about 20 something year old young ladies and their behavior to him as the victim, but not him as this big 44 year old man constantly preying on the youth. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on all of this? Leave your comments below. To me, first of all, Tyrese's energy drains me. I, I, I don't know how these ladies are doing it, but they're young and they don't know any better. What is the vibe that you get from him? Does he seem like an evolved man to be giving all of this spiritual guru advice that he's trying to give? Honestly.